Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I make all Shop With Me videos, home decor videos. I love shopping at like Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I love shopping for seasonal decor, showing you what is out there so you know where to shop, where the good deals are, so you can be an informed shopper and have better trips to your favorite stores. So if you love shopping videos, home decor videos, seasonal decor and seeing what's out there, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below my goal is to get to 50,000 subscribers by Christmas so please help me get there by hitting the subscribe button down below today's video is gonna be such a fun one as you can see from the title we are shopping at spirit Halloween I do know that the bigger stores have home decor and outdoor decor and I kind of just wanted to go and check it out and see what they have I haven't been to a spirit Halloween store in years literally in years it's not a store that i often go to i don't really ever do that much for halloween but brian loves halloween and now our really close friends love halloween so i know that we will be doing lots of fun halloween activities we actually already have them planned we really jumped the gun there but we're really excited for halloween this year so i wanted to go in and check it out i also had a couple of you request that i go and shop there so this is for you if you requested it. I will say, I know this video is not gonna be for everybody. I know that some people have religious beliefs that don't believe in Halloween. I know there are items in the store that may offend people that are like Wiccan, have to do with witches, Ouija boards, horror, general scary stuff like that. Just wanted to give that general disclaimer that if this video is not for you, that's totally fine. I completely understand if you don't wanna watch it, that is all good. But without further ado, if you are excited to see what they have in Spirit Halloween for home decor, outdoor decor, we'll probably look at a couple costumes and just any other fun stuff they have, then just keep watching because we're gonna head inside right now. Oh yeah, this one is so much bigger. Look at these super fun displays they have set up. The Halloween Factory. They have so many cool displays. That's terrifying. Look at this. Days until Halloween. It says 55. There's like no way for my camera to pick it up. Are you supposed to walk through here? Okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay. That scared the crap out of me. Look at all these displays. How fun. Oh look, pumpkin carvo matic So it goes in a pumpkin like this, and then it comes out a jack-o-lantern. So I specifically wanted to come to this one for these fun displays, and this one has more home decor. The other one was like strictly costumes, and it was pretty limited. So here is some of the decor they have. Keep in mind, it's gonna be more spooky than cute for sure but they have this light up wreath that has like a skull and then glittery black purple and red roses like i said it lights up with these red lights then they also have this one down here that says welcome with a skull and red and black sparkly roses again so you're gonna see i feel like a lot of glam stuff but i'm really excited to get into everything this light up one is 30 which i feel like is not bad it's definitely really comparable to a lot of other places we have shops and then this one that doesn't light up is 27. they also have some little trays this is a metal tray from my rotting body flowers shall grow and i am in them and that is eternity thomas moore and this is a ten dollar tray they have lots of other stuff like mantle scarf this has like ravens on it this is 10 as well this really pretty tablecloth that's like a burgundy color and it has like skulls there's also this tablecloth that is covered in ravens and then they also have these center pieces so for me like i have a round table so something like this is perfect to lay down and then put like something else over it and they have that in a bunch of different colors so these are so fun like i feel like everything is pretty reasonably priced the tablecloths are only 14 and i feel like that's really comparable to target and home goods you say which like it's a bad thing this yard steak is absolutely adorable and this is $16.99. They also have this light up banner that says Happy Halloween. How fun is that? This is $16.99 as well and has like little like spider details. This one that says flying lessons by appointment only. That's such a fun sign. Again, only $16.99 and a great size. Lots of like wine glasses and cupware we're gonna see as well. They have this light up beer bottle looking thing but it's a black cat you have like the ears the teeth the nose that is 10 crystal sphere steampunk lamp tons of 
little home decor items. Super spooky doormat. This is it. We're definitely gonna see lots of like spooky stuff. And then look at this. This door cover, it's it. Oh my gosh. That's honestly terrifying. And that is $20. This is actually so terrifying. <laughs> um, this is $22. For $26, they have this light up moon wreath. Really, really pretty if you're into more like witchy stuff and not as much like horror. They have this tablecloth that has lots of different like moon, sun, kind of reminds me of like symbols you'd see on tarot cards and this one is 15. I kind of feel like they have it broken down into like different collections and stuff. Oh yeah, this one specifically says tarot. But they just have so many different items. They have some more like witchy type stuff. Ooh. Wikipedia and then spells That is so fun. They also have this section for like Ouija board type stuff They have a Ouija board game a Ouija board fleece throw blanket They also have these candles a mug. They have this tin of mints a clock Tons of fun stuff. Like I said, they have a lot of really fun glassware they also have some Hocus Pocus stuff, so that's what kind of what caught my attention is this Hocus Pocus fleece throw. Look at this, All Hallows Eve, Sanderson Sisters, and this is $24.99, classic throw size. It is 50 by 60, and it does feel really soft. Special Potion, Sanderson Sisters Cauldron Mug for 15. Come We Fly, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. These definitely are not dishwasher safe. This one probably is. Just read the bottom, because I don't want you guys to get something and then it gets ruined. This is why I wanted to come to this store. They have these home decor sections that the smaller stores don't have, and I just think they're really fun. I like how they have it broken up too as well, like Haunted Mansion. It looks like they're still kind of like putting some stuff out, but they also have like a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Look at Little Zero, Little Zero decoration. Those plushes, I feel like they have in a lot of different like characters, movies, and themes. But look at all this Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. How fun. I'm obsessed with these little Jack and Sally light up pumpkins. They are $4.99 and I have not seen anything like this yet. I know some of you are big Nightmare Before Christmas fans. So this stuff goes out to you. This little zero decoration that you can hang is $20. They have this Jack Skellington wall decor piece. It says a wreath, but it is $17. You can definitely hang it on your front door. So many cool blankets. Look at this. This one's reversible. It says Our Town of Halloween with like a lot of the different characters on it and then all the big characters on the other side. Here is another piece of wall decor that they have for $17.99. Some more home decor items. They have tons of throws. If you love blankets and love horror movies or anything to do with Halloween, they have tons of throws that are like branded to particular movies and stuff. And all of them are around the same price. They're all around $25. They are putting out Beetlejuice items as well. They have Beetlejuice mugs. This is $14.99. They also have this Beetlejuice door cover. My friends Emily and Tom are in love with Beetlejuice, so anytime I see anything Beetlejuice, I always think of them. This is $20. They also have this little, like, it's almost like a picture frame, but you don't put a picture in it. It just kind of stands like that. It says, ghost with the most, babe. And this is $10. They do really have everything broken up by like sections. Demon dolls, killer collectibles, Beetlejuice, Haunted Mansion, home decor, Ouija, tarot, witchcraft, things like that. So it is very organized. Tons of cool wall decor for like the horror genre. So they have a map of the Overlook Hotel from The Shining, which is so cool. This Pennywise the Dancing Clown, Dairy Main, like almost like a poster type sign. This is a really good size and it is 35. Springwood Orphanage, swear if it isn't dead, if it comes back, we come back too. And another map of Dairy Main for it. Why does all this stuff take place in New England? Like I'm scared. Fun fact, the street I grew up on 
the main street off of it was Elm Street and I was always convinced that like Nightmare from Elm Street or Nightmare on Elm Street was like like that took place like I was convinced it took place right next to my house and that he was gonna get me too. They have a lot of awesome outdoor decor as well. This giant black jumping spider. It is $100, so definitely expensive. And as you can see, it actually comes in two different colorways. They also have lots of like fog machine and different like fog machine accessories. They also have fog scents. I have never seen these before, but if you're you know, having a haunted house and you want your fog to smell like pumpkin spice, you can have that. They have LED projections, they have spiders, skeletons, ghosts. They also have black light light bulbs. So if you really want to commit, they have light bulbs and stuff like that. These are $10 a piece for the black light light bulbs. And then for the LED projectors, these are $24.99. They have some fun string lights as well. So they have these pumpkin string lights. For $20, they also have blinking eye string lights. It says that you can try it. Let's see. Oh, let's see if my camera can pick it up. Oh, oh. and they talk too, dang. Another fun display they have set up and you can actually get your picture taken. So you go on this side. I might ask someone who works here to take my picture, maybe for like the thumbnail, but how fun. It's like such an experience to come shopping here. Look at these. Oh, I don't love that. No, sir. Look how cool these are though. They have these LED screens. So this is like the production factory. So it's like skeletons loading jack-o'-lanterns and then it puts it in these boxes. That is so immersive. Another photo op. It says unhuman resources. You can get in and be the employee of the month. They have tons of tombstones as well. Oh my gosh. This like skeleton thing over there is just screaming. Um, but they have a bunch of fun tombstones. They are very, very detailed. Some of them even have like moss on them. But yeah, they're super detailed. They look like they have like cracks in them. They have a bunch of different sizes as well. I'm gonna go out on a limb here though and say that I think it wouldn't be as cost effective to buy them here as it would be at like Walmart. I don't know if they're as detailed at Walmart, but how close do people really get to them and they see them a lot at night. So totally up to you which way you want to go as far as like getting these fake tube stones. But I do think that they're a lot cheaper at other stores. This one is 10, 10, 14. These smaller ones are five. This one's huge, so it's probably more expensive. Okay, so this really big one is 25. Okay, someone got a lot closer to these displays and they like went off, so I thought it would be funny for us to like experience this together. If you don't like spooky stuff, I'm really sorry, me either. I don't know, is it like motion activated? <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I don't like this one. Oh. Oh. Look at me. Look. Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine. Okay, now I know you have to like step on this foot plate, so now I know. Okay, here's the next one. This is the clown one. We're back to this one now that I actually know how it works. Step right up, boys and girls. Who's next to get walloped by my hammer? <laughs> we'll be the first on your block to say, Rocky Mole, clump me over the head. <laughs> no. This scarecrow one is the last one and it also looks like the most intense, so. They have these 
talking clown heads. Looks like they have a couple different varieties. I'm honestly terrified to try it. Oh. No, the price of admission is my soul. I'm okay. So these are $60. Then they also have these sitting scarecrows. So they are 4.5 feet tall. It's sitting scarecrow head snaps up to shock. Oh God. So it'll be like sitting and then like snap up to like scare people. Then they also have this clown that like sits on a swing. It's a swinging motion. It says three taunting phrases and is almost five feet tall. This one is 130 and then the sitting scarecrow is 160. Ooh, the spooky pumpkin head door knocker. Oh. Oh. They have these zombie arm pathway markers. Whoa, those are so fun. Those are so, so fun. Imagine like your whole walkway lined with that. They also have these lantern pathway markers. So these ones are like not as spooky. The button is not working on those ones unfortunately, but they also have these skull ones. Whoa. They also have these gargoyle pathway markers that kind of look like they are on fire. They also have this crawling hand, which is really fun. So the gargoyle pathway marker is right under $33. The skull pathway marker is again right under $33. The pumpkin door knocker, which is honestly so spooky but so cool, is $40. And then the zombie arm pathway markers are again. 33 they have this hanging phantom ghost oh my gosh and i will mention it's important to note that most of these things are actually sound activated so they will go off when they hear someone approaching or near it this hanging ghost is 35 they have lots of like spider decor look at these like fuzzy gross spiders they also have this warning tape biohazard tape fresh grave tape keep out so lots of these like crime scene tapes if you are looking for them these are really uh, these are a really good deal you get a hundred feet for $5.99 they also have a bunch of skeletons if you are looking for skeletons this one is so cool it has two heads this one is $7.99 and you can have it like sitting so if you had like a bale of hay you could sit that on it I saw someone do that and I thought it was really cute shout out to my neighbor Patty I'm talking about you <laughs> look at this skull garland this is so so adorable this is $10 I like that a lot they also have all these like spooky hanging things. These are really cool to hang from a tree and a bunch of them are interactive. So there's this one. There's also this hanging witch skull. The button's not working, but it is five feet long when it's like completely out. So that is really cool. Hanging pumpkin man. Oh, and he is $40. Look at all these. These are awesome, and it looks like all of these are between $30 and $40. I want to take a peek at some of the costumes just before I go. I don't know if they have my costume. Um, my costume I'm actually choosing to like put together myself as opposed to buying a version that's already put together. If anyone can guess my Halloween costume, I will give you a gift. I don't know what it is. Maybe like I'll Venmo you $10 for a coffee or something. I really don't think anyone's gonna guess what we're going to be. And if you know me, then you're automatically excluded from this. But I don't know, I think it'd be fun. Like let's see if anyone can guess what Brian and I are gonna be down below. I love costumes like this. They're honestly so easy. This scarecrow poncho is super adorable. She just has it on with like jeans. And she did her makeup so cute, like a scarecrow with little pigtails. These are like the types of costumes I used to go for when I was like single and stuff because they're just so easy but still adorable. And yeah, I don't know. I really like this one so I wanted to show it to you. Only the poncho is included in that but they do have like a bunch of scarecrow hats too. So many fun costumes. Here's another one I really, really like. 
If we hadn't already picked something, I do think that Bo Peep and Woody would have been really cute, and I definitely would have been down to do this as well. I really love Bo Peep. I've always loved her. So I think Bo Peep and Woody would have been super, super fun as well. Here are a couple more really easy ones. Ghost Poncho, Pumpkin Poncho, Cat Poncho, Spider Web. These are also really fun for like the Disney parties, like the Halloween party or whatever it is that they're having this year. They're just super easy, but also like light and they're not too hot. On the college program, we went as like big babies in those crazy onesies and held like rattles and bottles and I wore my hair in pigtails. And while it was awfully cute, I was miserably hot. So I don't know, you win some, you lose some, I guess. I don't actually see our costumes here. I. I for some reason, I feel like it's like a going to be a popular costume, so maybe that's a hint that it's something that maybe is not like very old. I don't know. I don't want to give literally any hints, but I don't see anything here. I don't even see anything remotely close to it. I don't see anything that is even the same. I'm not even going to give that clue. Nope, not doing it. These actually talk too. You made a big mistake coming over here. I'll give you a three second head start to get lost. One, two, three. They of course also have the spider web. They do also have green spider web, which I haven't seen anywhere else. They have glow in the dark spider web, tons of different like size packs, and they're really, really moderately priced, really comparable to everywhere else. Plus they have the specialty kinds like green and glow in the dark. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that they had at Spirit Halloween. This was such a fun one for me to film, so I really hope that you guys liked it as well. If you did and you haven't yet, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so I can get to 50,000 subscribers by Christmas. Like I said, if anyone can guess Brian and I's Halloween costume, the first person to guess it, if anyone does guess it, I will do a little like gift for you, Venmo you $10 to get a coffee or something like that. I haven't really decided yet, but if anyone can guess it, I would love to give you a little prize. This is such a fun video and that just sounds fun to me, so let's do that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye guys.